Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101, and today we're doing an RV DIY project. At a trade show we attended, I was walking through a new RV, and I noticed it had a retractable screen door. The screen conveniently slides open or closed and is stored out of the way when not in use. When we returned home, I researched retractable screen doors for RVs, and today we're going to install one on our RV. Let's get started. Ever since we bought our motorhome, we have had trouble with the screen door. It didn't stay latched to the entry door when you weren't using it, and I had to replace the latch mechanism twice. After seeing a retractable screen door at the RV trade show, I discovered Plisse, a company that specializes in retractable screens. After more research, I was convinced Plisse was the company to do business with. The retractable screens are all custom designed and made for your application. They are affordable, and it's an easy DIY project for RV owners. Before we get to the installation, I want to briefly discuss the ordering process. Plisse offers retractable screens for just about any application, including RVs. Every screen is a custom order, so there are a couple things you need to do to ensure a proper fit. Go to PliseScreen.com. Click on our How To Plisse Guide here. On this page, you provide information required so your custom retractable screen can be designed and built. You select the color, and you provide the height and width of your door. The more detailed information you provide, the better off you will be with your custom door. I included lots of photos and measurements because there were steps and other obstacles involved with our installation. The staff at Plisse was great to work with, and they had me measure everything they needed to ensure a proper fit. Based on my photos, the Plisse staff identified the need for custom spaces for my application, and after requesting more details, they were able to provide them. This saved me from trying to create my own custom parts. There is a blog article on the site that helps explain accurate measuring for your door, and you can contact Doug directly if you need assistance. If Plisse previously made units for the model of RV you have, they will already have the custom parts for that RV. Next, you place your order with free shipping, and before you know it, the retractable screen arrives by UPS. The screen is delivered in a secure box, and all the parts are clearly labeled and easy to locate. There is also a very clear set of printed installation instructions in the box. The installation is pretty straightforward, and because it was custom designed, you don't need to make any difficult adjustments or cuts to make it fit. The DIY installation involves unpacking and checking the box contents, assembling the unit, installing the unit, adjusting the tension, and installing the trim pieces. My installation also involves relocating my electric step switch so the steps operate properly. I remove the old screen door before starting on the new one. Lay the parts out on the floor or ground matching the colored dots. Insert the tension blocks in the top and bottom rails. Assemble the screen unit by pushing the rails onto the corners of the door frame and latch frame. Be careful not to pinch the tension lines between the rails and corners. Using the provided Allen wrench, slide the tension block to the arrow as shown and tighten snugly, but do not over tighten. If you over tighten the Allen screw, it can prevent the tension block from staying secured in the rail. Remove the packing tape and blocks from the frame side. Our door is offset, and I mentioned earlier that it requires custom spacers so the door frame aligns properly at the top and bottom. I installed the custom spacers around the door, securing it to the frame with screws. Carefully stand the assembled unit in the door opening, making sure the bottom frame is sitting on the threshold or other solid surface. Install the screws provided to secure the door frame to the door opening. Install the longer screws provided in the frame side while carefully holding the screen fabric out of the way to avoid damage. Place the hole covers in the frame. Install the handles at a comfortable height using the provided handle wrench. Some installations require a piece of plywood to adjust the step height to the bottom frame. Measure and cut as required and install the provided plywood now. 
Adjust the tension so the screen slides easily and the brush seal makes contact with the frame. Follow the printed instructions for proper tension adjustment. Install the dust shield in the bottom frame. Now your retractable screen is stored out of the way when you don't want to use it and it easily slides over when you do want to use it. Every installation will be a little different based on the configuration of the RV's entry door, but you can see how this DIY project is done. Now you can sit back and enjoy the breeze provided by your new Plisse retractable screen. For more information on retractable screens, take a minute to visit PliseScreen.com. Happy camping.